Hello, preschool patriots. This is your principal, Ms. Nacello, and I want to welcome you back to in-person instruction. Your first day of school back this year will be November 16th, 2020. If you have any questions about our site safety and operations plan, I highly recommend you check out our TUSD COVID-19 webpage. It has full details on anything that could potentially be related to our operations and safety for students considering the COVID-19 pandemic. Each day, employees and students and families will take the self-health assessment. It asks about various COVID-related symptoms, and if you are answering yes to any of these above questions or symptoms, you are asked to stay home and do not enter any Tracy Unified buildings. We also ask that you notify the school so that we can determine next steps because people are often wondering what happens if someone is positive for COVID, exposed to COVID, or symptomatic of COVID, or even if a family member um, tests positive for COVID, which would be the exposed scenario. Just so you know, we have specific procedures for each one of these scenarios. If someone tests positive for COVID, there's a specific set of procedures. If someone is exposed to someone that is positive for COVID, there's another set of, of specific procedures. If someone is symptomatic of COVID symptoms, we also have different procedures there. Let's say a student comes on campus and then starts to experience COVID-like symptoms. We do have an isolation space and we do work with our health services department to determine next steps. If your student is symptomatic, you will receive a phone call and ask to pick them up. Our health services department will also follow up with you with any other next steps. These are our preschool teachers. You are already familiar with them. They will continue to be your student's teacher. And these are our fabulous pre preschool paraprofessionals. They will be assisting our teachers. Our bell schedule for now, if you look at the left-hand column, our AM preschool classes will be attending camp or attending class in person and distance learning, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Our in-person students are considered group A. Our students that chose to continue the distance learning model are group B. PM kinder, preschool classes will be from 12 to 3 p.m. So as you can see on Monday, the teacher will be concurrently teaching the in-person group and the distance learning group at the same time. Students will be attending in-person and distance learning at these times Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Wednesdays, you notice that all students will be on a distance learning model with a slightly different time where everyone is in the morning because this allows for staff to have professional development and staff meetings in the afternoon. Again, our distance learning students will continue to follow this exact same schedule on Teams as I indicated here. They are group B, our in-person students are group A. This bell schedule can also be found on the TUSD COVID-19 page. Now, there is a parent survey that has gone out and it is asking district-wide what our parents prefer. Do they prefer students to return in person or continue distance learning concurrently with, um, with the teacher? So let's say 71% or more of our parents, our community, indicate that they want their kids to come back in person. This is where our district will take group A and they will split them into two separate groups. So this could potentially be our schedule after that survey time. So instead of four days a week, it could potentially be two days a week in person. Arrival and dismissal. This will not change if you are already familiar with our system, but please know that TK, kinder, preschool all have the same arrival and dismissal time. So it's not just preschool arriving at a specific time. It's also TK and kinder when everybody comes back. You will enter our parking lot, stay along the outside edge, and follow our car line along the sidewalk and pull as far forward as possible. When everyone comes back, I do have to account for social distancing. So there, are, there will be signs and barricades 
that prevent um, visitors and parents and any other family members from coming forward because students will be spaced out in a specific manner. For now, until January 4th, we will be using our car line. Please pull as far forward as possible. You will see the rectangle with the numbers in it. We do need you to pull as far forward as possible so that we can account for as many cars in our car line as possible. Again, these are these barricades and signs that I was talking about. Um, when everybody is back, we won't be able to permit anybody beyond this point. So please be aware of that and practice it now when we start on Monday, November 16th. Our preschool gate that you are used to has our lines for lining up. This will continue to be the entrance for Miss Selena, Miss Siobhan, and Miss Deanna's class. Miss Kristen and Miss Christine used to share rooms in our preschool area, but we had to relocate them across campus, so they will be using our main gate for entrance. And there is a lineup area underneath the awning once students enter the main gate. So what can you expect from our classroom? You can expect temperature checks prior to students entering the classroom. You can also expect various ways to clean their hands. Students will have access to hand sanitizer and soap and water and paper towels to wash their hands. Employees will be wearing masks and using desk shields. Students will also have um, access to desk shields and there are also face shields that we can even incorporate as well. You can also expect social distancing to the extent practical. That includes our individualized seating on the carpet areas, desk areas, and you can also expect individual supplies to the extent practical. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your child's teacher myself, your principal, Ms. Nacello, or you can visit the TUSD COVID-19 webpage and see our specific plan for our site safety and operations. We cannot wait to see you, Patriots.